Alright, yo, what is up guys, EJ Rick here, and yes, we are playing a different game, a 2D side-scroller, known by the, well, known by the name of Elsword, guys, so, I have gotten a few requests to do this game in the past, and I have figured, you know what, this game is not that bad at all, so I am going to go ahead and do it, said I had to talk to this guy here, I don't know why, but... Alright, forget it. Just gonna jump into a dungeon because I have quests somewhere along here. Let's go into the Richie Mines on hard difficulty. Now, I do gotta say, tell you guys right now, I have been playing this game a uh, significant amount for a few days here. And the grinding is not too bad, I gotta say. So, if you spend a few hours, um, you can get to where I am right now and um, in no time at all. So, the grind isn't that bad, but... Um, the problem comes in the sense that the gameplay itself is, uh, as you would expect a 2D brawler to be, kind of, uh, repetitive is, I guess, the easiest way I can put it. Um, they do do pretty well in having you change jobs in that regard. You do are, well, you are actually changing the gameplay a little bit. But for the most part, guys, you have your basic attack, your aerial attacks, and both strong and light versions of those and then you also have four different skills that you can map as well that you obviously get stronger as you go along aside from that though guys that is my biggest complaint in that the gameplay is pretty repetitive after that um, I've been going for a little while now and I've been pretty much doing the same thing for the long time got like my routine of best attacks I should do and uh, stuff like that so um, that's my biggest complaint that I have with the game right now, and I, I can't believe I started this video with complaints. So, um, that being said though, guys, I've had a lot of fun with the gameplay as it is, so I don't know how long that will last, but, um, as you guys expect, I am making a night class, so, um, a Lord Knight class, and so that's gonna be my first class. I'm pretty much my only class, I can already assume. They do have a large tank class, but he uses a gun, and that's not my favorite uh, thing anyway so I don't know very much about the game guys I haven't delved into it as much as most other games but um, I do know the basics as you guys know or can tell I have already gotten some cash up items and um, just kind of to get a feel of it it didn't cost too much I, I think I dropped like 20 bucks or something to get a costume set kind of because I wanted to get a feel of of how effective they were and I'm a big fan of costumes in general so I'm getting fucked by this guy right here hold on all right um, I, I, I have to say guys after I got the costumes my gameplay performance probably skyrocketed about twice as much and in that respect the fun aspect as well if I took off the costume guys I would be attacking half as fast as as I am now and um, that's pretty much my second and biggest complaint with the game and probably why this game will not be my main game is this fact that gear matters so much and as I have seen already and heard in some guides and such as well um, PvP is also affected by this so as you can see it may start becoming a pay to win situation where your gear is absolutely paramount um, before you can PvP and as you guys know, I'm already maining other games, so I don't want to spend too much time and or resources, money especially, trying to make my character uh, competitive. And that is my biggest gripe with the game right now, is that they do not have a fair arena system. Um, DFO, which sadly got shut down, had a fair arena system implemented alongside the f with the regular PvP that allowed for all types of gear to be used and enhancements and stuff like that and as I've heard enhancements are also in the game um, PvP so um, very very discouraging for a PvPer like me who uh, constantly looks for balance issues and stuff like that and that my friends uh, RNG generated, you know, gear or, you know, something that costs billions of gold should not be beating people out in PvP. So, um, I guess I sh that's, that's it. That's the biggest complaint I have with the game. Um, the repetitiveness will, you can, you can change it up a bit, but that is just one feature of the game that is just really discouraging for somebody like me. Um, that's not gonna stop me from playing the game though. I, I did get the cash offset, so I gotta put some <laughs> put some use into it. But um, I do want to get into the job change, the Lord Knight job change, and I want to see how the class plays from there. 
the class, actually, when I job change into this class, I forget what it's called, um, I did get different kind of effects added onto the character. So basically, um, my attacks do not knock down anymore, which is a cool little feature of the game. And not a lot of games take that into account, but when you're PvEing, you do not want to knock enemies to the ground a lot because that wastes a lot of time waiting for them to get back up. So when you job change into this class, um, there's a cool little feature that some of your attacks stop knocking enemies down to the ground, which it's awesome that the developers realize that that is a very annoying feature and uh, they are now making it possible so where when you job change, that shit doesn't happen anymore and that's actually really cool. Um, Alongside with that, there are also some skill modifications, like skill books in C9, which will basically have that happen as well. So, wow, I don't have any mana. How do I not have any mana? Seriously, I don't have any mana. I wanted to use this skill. Okay, then, there you go. This guy with the car is freaking annoying. So, really cool that they have uh, skills and stuff like that that do not knock enemies down all the time, because that is really annoying when that happens. So, for instance, this double attack that I'm doing in the air... Um, usually knocks enemies down, but after the job change, stop doing that. So, really cool feature, I gotta say. Um, the skill animations are really cool, guys. I don't know how I'm building my character right now. My probably absolutely terribly, but um, I gotta say that's another cool feature about the game. Similar to Grand Chase, I think this is actually the definitive. I mean, fan speculation, but uh, sequel to the game called. Um, Grand Chase, which I have played in the past. Aegis Knight for the win, guys, but... Um, you know, I, I gotta say, this gameplay is much more fun than Grand Chase, and I did play Grand Chase for a little while as well. Um, and overall, pretty fun game. Now, I hear that they're doing pretty well for themselves. Uh, updates included, that they're updating the game very well, that they're actually listening to feedback. I don't know how true that is, but... Um, you know, that's, that's going to be really good for the game. I, again, unless they add a fair arena system, I will not be playing this as my main, but I think it's a pretty cool game to time waste on if you want and start killing some mobs. And I really, really want to try the Lord Knight class because I'd like to see what kind of additions that they have. And Lord Knight is my favorite class ever made. Uh, if you're thinking about Ragnarok Online like I am. But as you guys see, I've been playing for a little while now, and it's pretty much been the same thing I've been doing. Uh, just go into the next room, do a few skills. This guy keeps knocking me down. Look at him. I go right through him and I knock him down. You piece of shit. All right. And, um, yeah, that, that's what you continue to do. You the, the dungeons actually make you go through a few times. It starts getting a little bit grindy here at this level. But then again, I am already getting close to my third job change, so... That is uh, understandable. A uh, little feature about this class that I, I'm not too sure about it because I'm almost certain that all the other classes are different. But this class in particular has two different modes of attack. Um, very kind of in-depth feature if I got it. It took a little bit while for me to understand it. But basically the red bar underneath your, your character will fill up depending on what type of attack you do. So as you can see, I am on the red bar right now, and that fills up by using my light attacks. So you see, if I use a light attack, it will fill up slightly. If I use a heavy attack, though, which is these attacks, it won't fill up at all. And the reason for that is, it is designed to get you to alternate between your attacks. So here, while in this mode, I'm going to try to get this to full right quickly by spamming my left click attacks. Um, and when it gets to full, guys that's where you start doing some damage so now your left clicks actually don't do anything your your light attacks um, they're just they're they're not very strong <laughs> they, they don't do anything but as you can see the bar is glowing your strong attacks now hit for massive bonus damage so um, that's kind of a way to get you to alternate your attacks don't keep spamming the same moves um, and now you can see after I expended that I did ex uh, a lot of damage because of that but after I expended that now my bar is blue, now it capitalizes only on strong attacks, and when I get this full, it has another effect where I regenerate mana like twice as fast. So it alternates between red and blue, and by doing that, it kind of gets you to alternate uh, different attacks. Now underneath my character, and I know I'm using this boss to explain <laughs> the game, but um, underneath my character, 
profile, you see three little circles. If I press control, it pretty much uses my ultimate attack, which uh, I think they're different for every character, but my ultimate attack basically buffs my character's attack by like 20% or something. So would have been a good time to use it during my red buff that I had. Um, but this is fine. The super attacks are very uh, satisfying, gotta say. And as you can see here, uh, my blue bar is filled up. I killed them, but if I use light attacks during this mode, I would have generated mana much more quickly. So, just a cool little feature of the game that uh, <laughs> isn't explained very well, but I did figure it out after a while. And, um, yeah, it kind of breaks away from the monotonous spammy of the same attack over and over again, so that's pretty cool. But aside from that, guys, it took about 10 minutes to do that. Um, yeah, not much to say. Did I get a rare right there? Look at this. I got a rare sword. I think that's better than the one I have. But anyway, guys, that's about it. Yeah, it is better than what I have. A lot better. Holy cow. Awesome. So, anyway, guys, that's about it. I'm um, going to keep playing L Sword, obviously, guys, but I do have, obviously, those big gripes about the game as already. And uh, anyway, guys, that's my initial gameplay. I'll probably be uploading some more PvE in the future, and obviously, we'll be trying to get into the PvP room to show you guys that off as well. So. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe!